here. If you are new here, hey, what's up? My name's Dami. So happy that you decided to click on this video today. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be a week in my life in New York City. We're gonna kick off this video with a thought that I've been having recently. I am convinced that you are either a weather person or you're not a weather person. Let me explain. I am the type of person where the weather app is probably the most used app on my phone. I check it multiple times a day for seemingly no reason. And if you ask me what the weather is gonna be like on any given day within the next like 10 days, I will probably know. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm just like obsessed with knowing what the weather <laughs> is gonna be like. But then there's other people who never check the weather app and when they go out for the day, they just kind of trust their gut <laughs> and dress for what they think the weather is gonna be like. And I literally cannot comprehend living like that. So just to start off, comment down below whether you're a weather person or you're not a weather person. I'm very curious. I'm so happy you're here. I feel like this is going to be a really good week and not just because it's going to be 70 degrees for the next five days. I just, I don't know why. I have a good feeling about it. So I want to take you along. Today is Monday. It is a work day, which means we have lots of stuff to do. For those of you who don't know, let me give you my quick little spiel. My name is Danny. Like I said, I live in New York City and I work at a tech company and also do social media content creation full time. So lots going on, but I love it, so I wouldn't have it any other way. Started off my morning this morning with a quick coffee run at Blank Street Coffee, per usual. And full disclosure, I walked around for a little longer than I should have. So now it's time for me to officially start my day. I have a meeting that will begin in a few minutes, so I want to be prepared. I also have to... My computer always freezes at like the worst times. I'm just gonna pull up the deck that I need to look at for this call, review it really, really quickly, and then we will have one meeting down. Look how easy that is. Actually, first I'm gonna throw on a work shirt. <laughs> Feel like that might be a smart idea. And now we're gonna go take our meeting. All right, a couple hours later and we are done with the work day. I say a couple and it was quite a few, but honestly this day kind of flew by. I just had a bunch of busy work to get done and I feel like I accomplished quite a bit. So, feeling good. And I am about to head out, one, because I haven't really eaten at all. I totally forgot to eat lunch, which is not good. So I'm about to get myself two slices of pizza at Bleecker Street. I have to walk by my friend Emily's apartment in order to get there. So I think she's going to meet up with me. And then, right now, she's actually watching The Vampire Diaries for the first time. And if you guys know me at all, you know that Vampire Diaries is one of my all-time favorite shows. I'm currently in the middle of watching it for like the fifth or sixth time. And I told her from the jump that I wanted to be there when she watched the season one finale. Those of you who know, definitely know. That is like one of my favorite episodes in the entire series because of the twist that happens at the end. It's insane. So I am gonna walk over there, get some food with her, and then probably watch that episode because I just cannot wait to see her face. There's nothing like the way that you adore me. I can feel love from miles away. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I am heading into the office today. Last night, so much fun watching the episode. She had the exact reaction that I wanted. Like, the exact reaction that I continue to have every single time I watch that episode. It's just so good. But I am going into the office today because I have lots of meetings and lots of stuff to get done. And I figure it's best to be more productive in the office, especially considering the fact that my space is a disaster. Also, I am kind of over the fact of having tough days at work and doing those tough days in my bed and then also expecting myself to be able to unwind and relax in that same space. Like it doesn't really make sense to me, which is why the concept of going into an office is so great in the first place. It's just at this point, now that I'm so used to having the flexibility to work from home, I don't always want to go into the office every single day, but I think I need to start doing that because it is not healthy for anybody to like share a space where they are so stressed and then also where they're expected to relax. Those are just my thoughts. I really wanted to do an unboxing this morning because I got a fun PR package, but I am running out of time. So we will do that after I get back from the office. I'm actually so excited to open this and I'm excited to share it with you guys, but that is gonna have to be a later problem. Here is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this white linen button down 
I think it's from Banana Republic. I stole it from my mom forever ago. Bodysuit is from Forever 21. My jeans are Zara, and then I'm just wearing sneakers today. I am fresh out of perfume. Like, actually working with the bare minimum right now. Might as well just top this off. Also, Grubhub is offering free lunch to all of New York City today. For what reason, I don't really know, but basically all you have to do is order your lunch on Grubhub between 11 and 2 p.m., I believe, and use the certain discount code, and then you get $15 credit, which is kind of insane. I can imagine there's not gonna be enough drivers for everybody who's gonna be ordering, so I'm gonna try and order like exactly at 11, and I'm gonna order it to the office and just hope for the best and hope that I get it before like dinner time, but I feel like that's really nice. I think they're honestly just doing it for like brand exposure, which if that's the only reason, they're doing a damn good job. <laughs> hey, I bring the bottle tonight, red wine to rewind all our memories right. It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realize. Another glass of wine, I'll find the diamonds in your eyes, darling. Another glass of wine, you know it's time. Three, two, one. What kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed? And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck. Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies, you got me right. I kind of left you guys hanging yesterday simply because by the time I got back from the office, I was socialized out. I was in the office from 9 a.m. to like 7 p.m. yesterday. I had so many meetings and also all of my friends were in the office. So I was doing lots of chatting all throughout the day. And by the time I got home, I simply was not in the mood to talk to anybody or anything. So it just, it didn't happen. I did go to Zara after work yesterday with my friends and I bought two things that I will end up returning, but I'll show you anyway. And I also watched a really good movie. I had never heard of it before. It was called Two Night Stand and it has Miles Teller in it. And it was just a really, really good cheesy rom-com, but I liked the premise. I thought it was funny. So if you guys were looking for a new rom-com to watch, I definitely recommend that one. But I realized I kind of hyped up this package and I've been waiting to open it up with you guys. So let's do it right now. I... Oh my god, this feels so surreal. Okay, so the other day I received a message from Polar Ralph Lauren asking if I wanted to receive their new fragrance. And of course I said yes, because who's gonna say no to that? Also, you guys saw yesterday that I just ran out of my perfume, so I figured this could potentially be a nice replacement, but this is the Polo Earth Ralph Lauren fragrance. It's a gender-free immersive fragrance, an indulgent blend of beneficial natural origin ingredients sourced sustainably from local communities. The ingredients are crafted luxuriously, delivering elegant scent easy to wear. Cool. Oh my god, it comes in like a block of wood. What the hell? I feel like this is going to be a really good summer scent just because of the way that it's described. It feels really light and airy. Let's see. First impressions. Also not getting paid for this. So like if I hate it, I'll tell you guys. Oh my god, it literally smells like a hotel. <laughs> it's <laughs> it literally smells like the hotel I stayed in in Costa Rica in the best way possible because I think it's because it's so earthy and very natural smelling. It just it smells like a clean tropical hotel. Wait, I kind of love this and I also love how minimal the bottle is. Thank you so much Polar Ralph Lauren. I can't believe I'm even in the position to be getting PR packages from Ralph Lauren. That feels kind of surreal. I am gonna go pick up some coffee before my meetings start. I also was thinking it could be nice to work in a coffee shop today. I have quite a few external meetings that I wanna be here for, but I have a larger chunk of time in between a few of them that I feel like I could go and just like work in a coffee shop during that time. I feel like that would be really nice, especially after what I said yesterday about just not wanting to work in this room anymore. I don't think it's good for me personally, and I would like to find a good option B for the days that I'm not going into the office. So it looks like I won't be working in that coffee shop because they were blasting music and it was so crowded. So I'm gonna just take my meetings from the living room today. Both of my roommates are in the office, so that means that I can do so and like not have to wear headphones and stuff, which definitely makes my life easier. So let's shift.
never mind, my meeting was rescheduled. So now I have a little bit of extra time to make myself some breakfast, which is a good thing because I normally never drink coffee on an empty stomach. Doesn't make me feel good whatsoever. That's when the anxiety starts to kick in. So that means we get to have a little bit of a better morning. Post work day, put on a bit more of an outfit because it is absolutely beautiful outside. Now I'm walking to Soho to make my returns. I didn't show you what I bought from Zara, mainly because it doesn't work. The dress that I bought looks like a pillowcase and the skirt that I bought didn't fit right. So here we are getting $100 back. I follow this girl on TikTok, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Her name's Jenna Palak, and essentially her entire brand is built around the idea of having fun on weekdays. Really finding ways to enjoy your hours outside of your 9 to 5 job, Monday through Friday, not just living for the weekends. And I really strive for that because I live in such an exciting city, and I'm young, so like I don't want to just be living for like these two days every week i want to try and make the most of every single day and of course that's not always possible like for example tuesday it was a long day at work and really all i did was come home watch a movie and go to bed and that's okay but most days i like to try and at least do something that makes me feel a little bit more fulfilled and today we're doing a little bit more of that we're going on a date i don't want to give too many details quite yet we're gonna wait and see how it goes because if it goes poorly then like I'll tell you guys anything you want to know but if it goes well I want to try and keep some things to myself but we're going on a date I have uh, about an hour to be completely ready so we should probably get going let's shed some light on the topic <laughs> drinks with a boy. No. I'm going on a date tonight. Are you going on a date? This boy seems like he wants to impress you. He made this plan. He's been pursuing you. He's not going to show up and half-ass it. You can do it. I know you can do it. You're going to surprise yourself by how much you enjoy doing it. Do what you do best. Ask lots of questions. Okay. But also, let him get a word in. Don't let your nervousness make you talk and talk and talk. Let him ask about you. Because he clearly likes you and wants to get to know you. If I was worried that you couldn't do it, my reaction would have been a lot different. But you were going to be a-okay. That timing literally could not have been more perfect. I was just gonna like vlog and chat with you guys, but my best friend Lisa FaceTimed me and told me that she was going on a date tonight also. So she had just finished getting ready. She was heading out and she needed some moral support. And honestly, it was nice for me to chat with somebody too because I'm not like nervous. Honestly, I don't really get nervous for dates all too often anymore. I also haven't been on a date in a hot second. Last time I went on a date was February, I believe. So definitely took a little bit of time off, not intentionally, just didn't have anybody that I wanted to go on a date with. But here we are. I guess I can give you a little bit of context because I always, like sometimes I go on dates from dating apps, I'm on dating apps, um, but sometimes I meet people in real life and this is a person that I met out in the wild. I went to a bar this weekend with my friend Emily and we ended up talking to these guys, one of which I kind of hit it off with and he texted me and said that he wanted to take me out this week. So we will see how it goes, I guess. This is like, honestly, people put so much pressure on first dates because I don't know why. I think it's just like, oh, the first date, like whatever. But really there's no pressure and I like to kind of reframe them in my head as I'm not going into this being like, oh, I hope he likes me. It's like, I'll see if I like him, you know? Like, it's not all about like trying to impress another person. It's just like trying to figure out if you vibe with the person that you're sitting across with and getting drinks with. So we will see. Updates to come, maybe, but my makeup's done. I have like a half hour before, so I figure I should probably get on my outfit and then have my pre-date drink. All right, this is what we're rocking with. This outfit is very me. 
Like, I feel like I wear some sort of variation of this every time I go on a date, and it works. So, I showed my room in Amanda, and she described it as, I just threw this on, but I still look good. Which is exactly the vibe I was going for. Top is from Zara, pants are Princess Polly, shoes are from Nasty Gal, and I might end up changing right before I leave, but for now, I feel like this works. I got these drinks the other day, the Topo Chico hard seltzers, and I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I do. But they're pretty good. They don't taste anything like alcohol. I feel like even sometimes hard seltzers have a weird, not even alcohol taste, but like a malt beer taste that I don't love. These literally just taste like sparkling water. So, bottoms up. The more time passes, the more I overthink things. So I just need this to happen so I can just like get in my zone already because right now I'm like in this weird limbo period that I don't love. I have such a weird feeling about this night. I don't, I don't know why. It's just gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, you guys know if you've watched any of the videos where I go on dates, my ritual is always to have a pre-date drink and also listen to one particular song. And that song is Man Eater by Nelly Potato. I don't know why, but ever since last summer, when my friend Emily and I started going on more dates more frequently, this is always the song that we would both listen to before we get to the restaurant. So it only feels right. Oh God. take a body shower because I self-tanned last night, but there's no point in me washing my hair because I'm about to go take a workout class. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento as I 